Hello and welcome! I'm Ethan K with Project Game Changer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a racing game using Tinker. In order to get started, you will need to know the following concepts. Basic code flow, basic understanding of control blocks, event blocks, and the blue sensing blocks. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see we've created a new project. Uh, let's get rid of the monster that they give us to start with. Okay, so let's create an actor. And we want it to be a car, so under city life. Choose the yellow car. And we'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is add a wall. So your media library, your adventure, going to choose this dirt platform. And that's gonna act as our wall. Okay, so let's start doing the movement of the car. Okay, so let's select the yellow car and drag in an on start. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is look for physics. Uh, if you don't have it, you have to click more and then activate physics. And then we're going to go to physics and drag in start physics. And we're also gonna drag in a set gravity and change it to zero by zero. And that will disable all gravity for our game. Now, let's add some movement. Go to the events category and drag in three when up arrow pressed blocks. Let's change one to left arrow pressed and one to right arrow pressed. Now let's add some forward movement. In order to do this, we're going to go down to physics, uh, scroll down a little bit, and drag in apply impulse zero at zero degrees. So this block means that we're going to push the car a certain amount in the direction that it's facing. So we're going to put 0 0.3 and then we're going to push it in the direction that it's facing. So under motion, find direction and drag that into where it says zero degrees. Actually, I forgot a step. So let's go to control and in about the middle of the screen you should see a repeat while. Drag that under each one arrow pressed. So put the apply impulse back into the repeat while. And then in sensing drag in one key up arrow pressed into each repeat while false block and change each one to match the block above it. Okay, so in order to turn, we are going to go to motion and drag in a point in direction 90 degrees into both of the repeat whiles. So now we are going to go to operators, which are green, and scroll to the very top, and we're going to drag in a minus into the left arrow pressed and a plus into the right arrow pressed. Okay, so if you go back to motion and scroll to the bottom, drag in direction into the first bubble of the green blocks and then change the second bubble to 0 0.3 for both of them. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to allow the car to turn to the left when you press the left arrow and turn to the right when you press the right arrow. The higher the number in the second bubble in the green block, the faster the car is going to turn. Now if you play your game, you can see that the car turns and can go forward. You'll also notice that the car follows the rules of physics and it keeps going even after you let go of the up arrow key. Now, one thing that we'll have to fix is that, as you can see, the car is moving the wall. So let's do that now. 
Okay, so go to Dirt Platform 2 and go to Events and drag in an on start and then go down to physics scroll down a little bit and drag in set active and change the false to true and drag in set static and change the false to true now what this is going to do is the set active makes it so that the car still is able to interact with the wall and still hit it and the set static to true uh, means that the wall isn't going to move. So when we play our game, now you can see that the car still hits the wall, but the wall doesn't move. Now let's create the track. Go into Stage and click on Settings. Under Advanced. So my tile map is already on, but if yours is off, then turn it on and make sure background scroll is on and make sure that your world size has a width of 50 and a height of 50. So once you have that you can close out and play your game. So when you play your game you should see that the camera now follows your car. If it doesn't don't worry there is a way to force it to um, and we'll do that now. So back in your in the code for your car go to looks and scroll down until you see a block that says set viewport camera to any drag that under the on start and change any to yellow car now when you play your game you should see that the camera follows your car so this is where you get to make your own track so by right clicking on the block and click copy and then right click anywhere on the stage and paste the block and by doing this you can design your own track. Feel free to create as many blocks as you want and rotate or resize any of the blocks to make whatever type of track you want. Okay so I made a track that looks like this um, as you can see when you play the game all the walls and collisions work correctly but if you notice there are one or two issues the first issue is that when you bounce off a wall you rotate infinitely you don't stop rotating and the other issue is that you never stop moving so we'll fix that now so in order to do that we're going to, here let's stop the game, we're going to go to physics and we're going to put angular damping into the on start as well as linear damping. So we're going to change the set angular damping to a really high number, I'm just going to do something like a million. So this is going to keep the car from continually rotating. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the linear damping to 0 0.1. This will allow our car to come to a stop eventually. So now when we run our game, we should see that all the physics work like they should and the car doesn't rotate too much and it comes to a stop. So that's our game. So when you're done, uh, make sure to save it. I'm just gonna call mine racing and click the orange button that says save. You can either save your game or save and publish. I'm just gonna save it and we're done.